go. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Hank. Hey. How you doing? Uh, you know, same old shit. Usual. What the fuck? Sorry, Lieutenant. It took me a while to find you. Are you gonna come back like this every time you get killed? My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Not affect the investigation? I just saw you get hit by a truck! Now you come back like nothing happened? A machine was destroyed. And another machine was sent to replace it. I don't understand what's bothering me. Okay, fuck you. Fuck you. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Huh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. What do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. This place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable.
RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? It looks like mazes or something.
Shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. This place will make me free. Find Jericho! This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost, just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny.
humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and biocomponents. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. We'll never accept what we are. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. You can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. 
Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours and then you'll both be safe. Come on, follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way, 
Everything we need is in the basement. I don't like this place and that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. It'll be okay, Alice. He's going to remove my tracker and then we can start over again in Canada. You want that too, right? Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. This way, please. If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, but people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. It's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Kara! Wake up, Kara! Meet me in the living room.
Master's dinner is ready. Take it up to him. Yes, Luther. Just set it down on the table over there. Now get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. Please fuck off. The word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lanko. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lanko. I should be done here in 10 minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Lanko. I'll bring you the little one in 10 minutes.
I'm sorry. About the little one. Forget you. I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come here. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zako. I warned you, dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No, not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I didn't 
didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. I was so scared of losing you. Hello, Amanda. Hi. I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home?
Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy... sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. <laughs> Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <sighs> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be unpleasant. fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, <clears throat> but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole! I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> uh, I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Resonator. 
President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. New escalation in the conflict. Many experts are suggesting that the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. Sorry about the window, Lieutenant. I really thought you'd been attacked. Of course, Cyberlife will pay for the damage. Yeah, trust me, I'll send him a bill. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. another way.
Cyber Life warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! First the drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. 
Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We load. got bio-components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because... here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. 
What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! The fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson is plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Only wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> Got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. Die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. That didn't prove anything, though. It could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute. 
Maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever have any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once, we lost a model two, three months back with the same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind. Uh, uh sorry, honey. You changed my mind. Let's try this one. This better be... I saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path.
know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. other Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way.
never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down, though. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? I overheard androids Zlatko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Then know where we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we can spend the night. shelter. find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. There 
are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight.
She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in it. Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. I'm on board. The carousel is about to begin. smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately.
Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you, really? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think.
can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, do you live at 4685 Michigan Street? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. You think you can come down here? Oh, oh, God, okay, uh, I'll be right there. Hello, sir, what can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
I need your help. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey, you still play poker? Hey, what's going on here? Shit, what's wrong with this thing? All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others.
Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, what are you doing? Record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me! 
our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? <laughs> 